Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we're taking a look at another bullshit video from BuzzFeed. This time they're making up shit that black people invented. The video is called, People Try to Live Without Black Inventions for 72 Hours. Black inventions? I didn't know people and races were claiming their inventions like that now. And now we're looking at some people who are supposedly trying to live without black inventions for three days? That's basically BuzzFeed trying to say, hey, looky here, look how hard it is to live without black people stuff. Does anyone else find this idea rather gross and pretty patronizing to black people? And I wonder why they didn't make a video trying to live without white inventions. Oh yeah, you can't make a video without a camera, lights, a microphone, the computer, the internet, YouTuber, the English language. Anyway, let's go ahead and check this video out. We're fucked, you know that, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we low-key can't use a street light. Like, what? I watch- Wait, what? Did you watch any of the Black History Month specials as a kid? See, these are the things that they need to teach us about a little bit harder, a little bit longer, a little bit stronger, a little bit louder. I think an adequate amount of time is already spent teaching kids who invented the traffic light. This explanation right here is already sufficient time, in fact. It was a black guy named Garrett Morgan. End of story. Now, we can go into it more if you'd like, but I don't think you're going to appreciate what we see here. You're not going to like this nuance. Once, but you know what? Fuck it. Morgan didn't actually invent the traffic light. That's to say he didn't invent the lights, the post, or the electric going into it. In fact, Morgan didn't even come up with the idea of the traffic light initially. A number of versions of traffic signaling devices began to be developed starting around 1913. What Morgan did was make a patent for his own version in 1923, 10 years later. And his only major addition was a third warning light between green and red. Morgan invented the yellow light, essentially. But even with that, I mean, he wasn't the first to come up with the three light system. William Potter had a version that predates Morgan's by three years. But Morgan did have the patent, the rights, and his three light system would go on to be what we use in America today, essentially. Unfortunately though, Morgan sold his rights to General Electric for a mere $40,000 many years ago. I'm sure it'd be worth $40 million nowadays. Now that's the full story, an extended talk about the history of the American traffic light, which this BuzzFeed girl basically asked for. She wanted to know more about it, right? And now that we look at things fully, we can see why people don't really know this. People don't really know that blacks invented the traffic light because it's not true. To say a black person invented the traffic light is pretty disingenuous. Sounds like this girl on the right fell for some of that February Black History Month propaganda a couple weeks ago. And it's pretty sad black people and their SJW masters have to stoop so low here as to claim the traffic light as their invention. When, as I said, Morgan at best invented the yellow light. And even for that, he wasn't the first. He just patented a new version of it. So BuzzFeed stooping this low here shows their premise is already pretty desperate and weak. And they're being dishonest right out the gate. Ooh, okay. Cause I feel like I only know like two black inventors that were talking talked about the same way that like Edison and Einstein were talked mm -hmm. about. And did you ever think that might be because there are only about two other black inventors on the same level as Edison and Einstein? This girl seems to think the history books and the public narrative are holding back. They're just not talking about the black inventors and not letting others hear about them. But why would anyone do this? Where are these hidden black inventors at? I'm sure they would say it's because of racism or some other nonsense, but fuck that. This is happening because there's not as many black inventors out there, dude. Come on. No one is talking about them because they don't exist. Exist. I know for sure this was invented by a black man. I don't know why I remember that. I saw it. But it makes me happy. Black guy. This is a, a, Mike. a microphone. Yep. It's a microphone. Good job, Blondie. You made a basic grade school identification there. Now, I don't care about that super soaker part enough to look into it, but it sounds like another desperate and random invention to have here. But this microphone thing is interesting. Let's see more about the Lectret microphone and its inventor, James Edward Maceo West. Turning to Wikipedia, under West's inventions and achievements, it reads, Along with Gerard Sessler, West developed the foil electric microphone in 1962 while developing instruments for human hearing research. Okay, first note, he wasn't working alone. His partner was the German Sessler, probably a white dude, and they didn't invent the microphone completely. They developed the type called the foil electret in 1962. Reading on, compared to the previous condenser microphones, the electret microphones have higher capacitance and do not require a DC bias. West and Sessler optimized the mechanical and surface parameters of the system. Nearly 90% of more than 2 billion microphones produced annually are based on the principles of that foil electret and are used in everyday items such as telephones, camcorders, hearing aids, baby monitors, and audio recording devices, among others. Okay, Okay, that's pretty big, pretty impressive, I'll admit, but I think it's worth noting that West worked on a team with his German partner, Sessler, which BuzzFeed purposely leaves out. That and they try to make it look like black people invented all microphones all over, which is also pretty shady and dishonest. I'm gonna go with white guy. No. Black 
person. Black, black person, person, black, black person. person. What's an electrical resistor exactly? And why is it being represented here by a MacBook? I swear to God, if you don't keep an eye on BuzzFeed every second, they'll just wander off into strange, strange places. They're like children. You gotta keep an eye on them. But let's go in and see what a resistor exactly is. I mean, I know it's a part for electronics. Wikipedia says it's an electrical component. It's a common element in electronic equipment. So I guess you can say there's a resistor in that laptop. Like you could say there's one in any electronic device. But I'm pretty sure BuzzFeed picked this brand new pricey laptop to represent electric resistor the very best way they could. They want to hype up the fact that a black guy named Otis Boykin developed an improved wire resistor many years ago. He didn't invent the part, he patented a new and improved version of it. Sound familiar? But this is all too boring. It's not sensational or impressive enough for BuzzFeed. That's why they show a MacBook Pro and say, hey, black people invented this. Um, white man, we established that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Unless what? this is a trick, how wrong were we? All of these are black people. Shit! You're lying! <laughs> Damn! Look at what fucking U.S. history American public school teaches you that Thomas through. Edison. I don't have time to go through all of these, but I think you guys already get the picture. BuzzFeed is being misleading and patronizing at best. And at worst, they're misrepresenting disingenuous liars. They're trying so hard to be down with the blacks that they're making up shit they invented to make them feel better. And then there's the even worse part of this. BuzzFeed is actually being counterproductive here. They want to show black people are smarter and good inventors too, but then we can see they're clearly not. And they have to lie about fucking traffic lights in order to make it look like blacks made anything cool. Traffic lights is the best they could come up with. The fucking yellow light was made by a black person. That's their claim to fame, and it's kind of pathetic. But about this light bulb, while we're here, don't worry, it was still invented by Thomas Edison, or by whoever he stole the idea from, but that's a whole other story. Who BuzzFeed is talking about is a black inventor named Lewis Howard Latimer, who didn't even make the bulb himself, and he didn't even make the carbon filament, which is his claim to fame here. No, like we've seen before, this is another case of an inventor patenting the process for making a standardized item, in this case the carbon filament in the light bulb. Latimer didn't invent the light bulb, or the carbon filament. He just perfected the filament production process. So again, BuzzFeed is being misleading and obnoxiously liberal with its take on history and inventions. Okay, so I literally just left the shoot and I'm already breaking the rules because I need to vlog and I need my phone to vlog. So it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be a little tougher than I thought. Damn, near fucking everything that's like necessary for living, just like a basic American life. Well, at least she knows how basic she is. But come on, really? BuzzFeed used electrical resistors to make a claim on all electronics for black people. That's fucking dumb and simple-minded. I would say the cell phone is okay in this experiment because white people invented phones and electricity and iPhones and Apple products. But BuzzFeed says that since somewhere down the line a black person perfected and made a patent on a resistor and now all electronics are black invented and the guy didn't even invent the first resistor. This is all absurd. So, essentially, I broken every single rule because everything around me was invented by a black inventor. Okay, resistor and electric mic we already covered enough, but now BuzzFeed is trying to say blacks invented personal computers. What the fuck? I guess we should find out who Mark Dean really is because I'm pretty sure he didn't invent a MacBook Pro. I would say Steve Jobs or some of the other white guys at Apple would be claiming their products, but of course, common sense isn't being used here. Okay, so looking at Mark Dean's profile, it doesn't say anything about inventing a personal computer. It does, however, say he holds three of nine PC patents for being the co-creator of the IBM personal computer, released in 1981. Co-creator is key here. He worked on a large team at IBM that did in fact develop the first personal computer. But to say Dean invented it is a pretty damn simplistic view and outright misleading if you ask me. Mark Dean wasn't even a leader of this team. He was just one of its many members. And this is also a computer made in 1981, but BuzzFeed makes it look like Dean is inventing MacBook Pros in 2018. He's clearly not, and he didn't invent computers or personal computers either. He was just on a team that developed a pretty good one in the 80s. I totally broke all the rules, and I brought my laptop with me. I don't think I can live without my laptop. That nose ring is disgusting, but at least they are clarifying this Mark Dean story a bit. Co-invented is a much more accurate and honest description, but they're still making it seem like black people invented all computers. Like, why can't this black chick use her laptop here in this experiment? I sincerely doubt Mark Dean's contributions to computers led to the making of this MacBook Pro of hers. This laptop would have been made regardless. There were many computer companies in the 80s actually, including Apple themselves. So Mark Dean co-creating a PC at IBM is going to have little to no effect on Apple products. Just saying. It's just automatic. Alexa, turn off everything. Okay. Well, it's only 
6.45 and it is dark in here because I realized that I had a candle but no matches. So I want to again stress my last point because this applies to light bulbs and microphones too. You see BuzzFeed is kind of implying that if these black inventors never existed we would never have these common items. This is completely untrue. Like with the computer, lights and microphones had many companies producing and competing and making them all over the place. Just because one black guy made a patent on a perfected carbon filament that doesn't mean we wouldn't have light bulbs today without that. And the same goes for electric microphones. These products were going to come out one way or another. So I'm in the elevator because it's after the club and I don't feel like going up 10 flights of steps. So y'all just gonna have to fucking deal with it. So this is just more cherry picking and needlessly exaggerating one component's importance in larger systems. First it was an electrical resistor to claim all electronics. Then it's the electric microphone to claim all sound and music. Then the shifter in a car to claim all vehicles and now the elevator door to claim all elevators and tall buildings. Blacks invented all the cities now because one guy made a patent on an elevator door 100 years ago. Fucking retarded dude. And then the girls go and break all the rules anyway so what's the goddamn point of all this? They're not actually living without black inventions for three days and they're not even real black inventions to begin with this is just all nonsense buzzfeed is reaching so hard here and it's pretty sad to watch ian did you know that stoplights were invented by a black man no I had no idea. Well, that's because it's not true. A black guy didn't invent stoplights. He patented, he patented, patented, he patented a three light system, which he also didn't invent. The thing, the, the like go around that I learned was that I could use other people's things. So like, <laughs> instead of me driving, I made my boyfriend drive. It's Do you like, think that counts? Uh, or is that some white people shit? Uh, yeah, it's some, it's some white people shit. <laughs> As if the white guilt couldn't get any stronger here. I always feel like this blonde is so riddled with it, especially when she's around that black chick. You can just tell when white guilted people like this act all overly nice and accommodating to black people. They treat them like children and it's pretty demeaning. And this is also actually racist, I hope you know. Putting on kid gloves for minorities and pretending they invented everything is patronizing as fuck. I know I wouldn't want special treatment if I was black or brown. Oh wait, it's in the refrigerator. Really difficult living without refrigerated items. Because black people invented everything. Okay, now we're just straight up in some we was kangs and shit. You guys must know that meme by now. These crazy, racist, out of control black people really think they invented everything. And they think all the kings and pharaohs were black too. Jesus was black. Everyone and everything cool that was ever done or invented was by black people. Talk about overcompensating. People that think like this have huge inferiority complexes that cause them to go nuts and try and claim everything. Like this video. It's pretty sad to watch. Kate! Yeah. If I told you microphones were invented by a black man, would you believe me? Sure. Did you also know light bulbs invented by a black person? Didn't know that. Her misunderstanding has gotten so bad they have to annotate it. I can't tell if it's because this blonde is lying though or because she might just be that stupid. I mean, she's straight up going around saying blacks invented light bulbs and microphones, which is absolutely false. Look at you cheating. What? Black invention. Black invention. The computer, ladies and gentlemen, is a black invention. Yes. I'm at work. I have to use my computer at work. Uh Blacks did not invent those Apple products. And I hate to break it to you, but the iPhone and the MacBook would have been invented with or without black people. You're reaching, honey. And you trying to claim all electronics for black people is getting pretty fucking cringy. I think the hardest part of this experience has definitely been the no computer aspect and I now know that I have Dr. Mark Dean to thank for that. You can thank him for being part of the larger team that created the first IBM personal computer, but not all computers overall. Get a grip, lady. Gosh, imagine how far worse we would be without these things. You know what I mean? Like, I had takeoff for three days. I think we would be pretty much in the same place, honestly. Maybe things like light bulbs or street lights would look a little different, but we would still have them. And we would have computers and cars too. Pulling these middle-of-the-line black patent owners out of history would do very little to affect things in the present. And don't get me wrong either, if they had some legitimate groundbreaking black inventions, I would acknowledge that. The electric microphone is probably the most significant one here, but again, BuzzFeed covers up the fact that the black guy was a co-creator with a German. And of course, they extrapolate that to everything with a microphone, instead of just focusing on the one electret one. At first I was like, man, I feel guilty that I didn't know all of this shit. And it's not so much that I feel guilty that I didn't know about this shit, it's more that I feel guilty that I still live in a society that doesn't recognize this kind of stuff as important as white inventors. And that's what made me be like, damn, okay, 
I have some work to do. No, the reason you feel guilty is because you're riddled with white guilt. You buy into this liberal bullshit that white people are the worst and we're all racist assholes bringing down the poor helpless minorities. We're not, and white guilt is bullshit. The reason you've never heard of these inventions is because most of them are made up or exaggerated in order to give the black inventors more credit than they deserve. In the end, we got another big racist misleading stinker of a video from BuzzFeed. This time they sunk so low in their efforts to prop up black people that they're now lying about what they invented, making it look like everything electronic and with a microphone was invented by black people. It wasn't. And upon going through all of this, it really seems like the opposite of BuzzFeed's intention was achieved. I now see there's even less things invented by blacks than before, and liberals and leftists are so desperate to give blacks credit for shit, they're just making stuff up now. It's really sad and really dumb on BuzzFeed's part. They were doing so good recently too, not being racist and offensive for a while, but looks like they're back at it again with their same old bullshit. What do you guys think? Do these black inventors deserve all the credit BuzzFeed is trying to give them? Why even bring up black inventions to begin with, if the best thing you could come up with is lies, the yellow light, and super soakers? I would have skipped this video if I was them. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below, and thanks for watching No Bullshit. See y'all next time.